Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little update to a John Mayer preset that I created a while back. Uh, this is a dual amp preset and I'm really excited about this one uh, because Austin Buddy, he gave a gift of tone to all of us and in one of those was his Steel String Singer preset. Uh, so I created a Steel String Singer preset a while back too based on all of his knowledge and all his tips and I just wanted to take it a little step further so I did a ton of research on the Dumble Steel String Singer and I made a couple adjustments so I'm going to show you how I uh, made some tweaks and kind of adapted it to more of a, a John Mayer style uh, preset using uh, basically four different gain stages and that's what I'm going to show you a clean a clon uh, tube screamer and then stack for a lead type of sound. Um, as always, uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Just hit 10,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited. Um, if you want to stop the video right now um, and you don't want to go further with the tutorial, then uh, and you want the preset, I uh, just ask that you email me. All that information is in the description box below uh, so you can purchase the preset. It helps the channel to grow even more. If you want to continue with the tutorial, uh, that helps the channel as well. Today I'm using my Michael SX Custom. Uh, everything is going to be on probably the neck and the neck middle. These are Lawler Blondes. Um, if you've uh, seen this channel before, you know this guitar pretty well. So I'm going to go to FM9 Edit right now and show you what it's about. All right. so. If you've uh, seen my dual amp preset before, uh, this is it. Uh, basically, I just adjusted some of the drives and one of the amp blocks. So let's go and start with the clean. Um, this is a two rock and a Dumble Steel String Singer type of uh, combination here. So here's the, the two rock or the two stone with all the settings. Doing a hard pan left. Don't think there's anything. Oh, yep. There's a little bit of gain enhancer. I just kind of like that. It fattens things up a little bit. But those are the settings right there. And then let's go cab next. Um, I sum everything because this is more like a dual mono setup. Um, people ask, why do you have it uh, hard pan right and left? Just in case I wanted to go stereo. But I really like it when it's just one big sound. Um, did a little bit of high cut here, but I wanted all the lows to come through because that's what the Dumble Steel String Singer is best known for, a really chesty type of tone. Gave it some room level, and that's it over there. Now let's go back to the second amp block. So I'm actually using two channels for this one because um, it kind of starts to clip if I start adding too much drive. So uh, one of the channels is the mirror image, but just dialed back just a tiny, tiny bit. So here's the ideal tab for the SV Base 1. We know that the Dumble Steel String Singer is based on that power section. Don't forget to hard pan. And always uh, set the level to how you like it. Preamp. Um, I left the input boost on at all times around 4 dB. Don't forget to set the tone stack type to Skyline. Uh, now, John's uh, serial number 002, I think it has like a, a twin tone stack or something like that, but I really like the Skyline one. Um, set the tone stack to mid power amp settings. I think there were some things adjusted right here in the transformer section. And here's kind of where I start deviating from Austin Buddy's preset. I changed the power tube type because most of the steel string singers are a 6L6 power tube section. And then I read that there is a cathode follower in the Dumble Steel String Singer to give it a little bit of compression, uh, even at uh, 
in a clean type of setting um, and it adds these kind of upper harmonics. So I turned up the compression and the harmonics to kind of give it that um, big feel even uh, on a clean tone. Don't think there is really anything right here, but make sure you check your settings. Didn't do anything special here except to make sure the impedance curve is set to the 4x12 rumble. Not sure if there's anything here. I don't think so. Uh, output EQ, that's an important one. So you can see there's just a little tiny bit of a mid scoop and pronounced lows. And then dynamics, I like to use the gain enhancer. Set it to 1.11. Here's my go-to South Church Reverb in parallel. So let's go ahead and play the clean tone for you. All right, let's go to scene two. This one adds a claw in, and I believe we are staying on channel A right here uh, for the Dumble Steel String Singer kind of clone. Um, set pretty low right here for the clone. Uh, kind of what I'm going for is when John uh, plays like Wild Blue, I think he kicks this on at the very end, or it could be a Tube Screamer, I don't know. Or, uh, kind of a slight breakup, I don't trust myself type of solo tone. So let's check it out. So nice and big sounding, lots of headroom. All right, so now we switch to the Tube Screamer one, neck position. All right, and you uh, hopefully see the channels kind of switching around here. Um, we could also go here, here and just add a little bit more gain if we wanted to, uh, just because it's such a clean uh, type of amp. All right, there it is. But let's uh, go ahead and undo that because I think this is stacked. So now we're going to the solo one. Uh, right here you see it change to uh, channel D. And as you can see, uh, the fat uh, parameter is turned off, input boost is turned off. And I think that's about it right there. Um, you can see it engages two different drives, the Tube Screamer, and then we have the clone right here. Nothing else changes. Let's go ahead and play a little bit.
So kind of uh, what I used as my base was this live recording from John Mayer at the Palladium playing the belief intro and I really wanted a huge first note on that A string um, playing the A notes. So this guy. And I think it got back, it got there with this uh, steel string singer workaround and the the two rock, um, but just wanted something really, really big and chesty sounding. Oh, uh, don't forget, uh, change the bright cap. Um, I bumped it from, it was like 175 to 200, uh, just to kind of match what, uh, I think it was the two rock cap? No, it was the, the Dumble ODS. Let's see, yeah. So that was another change I made, so don't forget to do that. Uh, you can mess with that if you want based on your guitar pickups, but uh, that's it, the kind of holy grail. I think this is my favorite iteration of this preset just because it's um, so big sounding. Um, there's a lot more going on here. Um, I do utilize these other four uh, scenes up here, but just kind of wanted to show you the base for uh, right now. So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Everyone take care.